Hello. Um, this is religious abuse here. Um, with a, a change of pace, actually. Normally, when I do these videos, um, there's something that's bothering me, and I talk about that. I have, I normally have a political message, or a social message, or philosophical message. This might be somewhat political, but that's not the point. Um, and I don't want to sound like those, uh, it gets better, don't, you know, anti-bullying campaigns, or, um, you know, suicide prevention hotline ads, or any of that stuff, but I do, I do want to echo my own version of that. And, um, what I have come to learn, uh, recently here, we're all suffering. And I know that sounds bleak, but the good side is, we're all suffering, and we're all suffering together. And all of us are in this fight together. Together, We all have a dog in this race, so, so to say. If you'll pardon the tried-out quasi-animal-abusing metaphor. Um, we're all in this together. We all have a dog in this fight. We all... have a right to be heard. And our existence is valid. Um, I started a new job, and I don't know if I was just too confused or flustered, but today, today was going to be one of my first days. And I was confused as to what the company I worked for wanted me to do. Um, the orientation was a little light for me. And it, it's a entirely new field for me to be going into. And I panicked. And it was dark. And it was raining. And it was like 5.30 in the morning. And I was stressed. And I was having panic attacks all day today. Um, but that doesn't mean my existence isn't valid. Just because I'm tripping on the way to, on the pathway to my dreams, doesn't mean that my existence isn't valid. And just because you, who's watching this, might be tripping on the way, on the pathway to your dreams. You might be in rehab. I've been there. You might have dropped out of college. I've been there. You might have um, had a rough high school experience. I've been there. Uh, you might have hurt people around you. I've been there. I've heard people I care about. You might have even done things that I haven't done, like get arrested or go to prison or violate parole. But just because you fuck up doesn't mean your existence is invalid. Just because you have yet to discover what you can contribute to society to make this world a better place 
doesn't mean you don't have value. You do. You deserve to be heard. You deserve a right to exist. You deserve a right to live and love and enjoy life and be comfortable and be happy. Everyone does. These are innately human rights. Everyone deserves the right to find out what they do best and what they can make the world a better place with. And they deserve a right to can find that out and contribute that to society. And nobody else, nobody has the right to tell you that, that you don't. Nobody has the right to tell you that what you contribute to society isn't, isn't valuable. My view on life is that our birthright as human beings, as flesh and blood men and women and transgender or gay or black or white or Asian or whatever the fuck you are, we are all human beings and we all, all of us, deserve the right to exist comfortably. And that's what fills my political agenda. Uh, this isn't a political vid video. I mean, God. God help us if this is a political video. But, every last goddamn one of us has a right to exist, and to be happy, and to be felt, and to be heard. And to live comfortably. That is your birthright as a human being. You should never have to struggle to live. Uh, in the in the description of this video, I am going to put. God knows, I'm the worst person ever. Or maybe the best person ever to give this message. All I know is I'm giving this message and I'm going to be putting the uh, suicide prevention hotline and, and, and some other things. Maybe like the Trevor Project or something like that. Something, something for those people who feel isolated and lost and trapped in their own life and I'm going to put it right there now I'm just stressed out I'm not suicidal but I've been suicidal in the past I've been really depressed in the past and God knows this <laughs> the lack of light in this video isn't helping but everyone has a right to feel happy and to feel loved and to feel fulfilled in life. And if you don't feel that way, that isn't a problem with you. That's the world's problem. Because you were born with a birthright to feel loved and to feel happy and to feel fulfilled as a human being. All of our blood pumps the same color, red. We all have a heart and a brain. We all exist needing the same thing. We all have the same vulnerabilities and weaknesses. We all get sad. But we can also all be happy. And we can all feel loved. And we can all feel joy. And even as a nihilist myself, if there was one thing that I could believe in or would believe in, and if there's one thing that you should all take away from this video, is that whatever we can do 
to maximize joy and love and the milk of human kindness and to help our fellow man and woman we should do. This has been religious abuse and know that even if you're drowning, you're not drowning alone. We're all in this together.